Hey everyone, welcome back to weekly reading vlog 100. <laughs> I've been doing this for over two years and yes, there have been like some weeks that I didn't vlog or that I filmed something different, but just a weekly reading vlog 100. This is crazy. Thanks so much for watching and for being here again. I'm so excited to be doing another reading vlog. First of all, let me tell you what I'm reading. So I'm reading this one book for a different video, so I'm not going to show it in here. But I am also reading The Complete Poetry of Edgar Allan Poe with a new afterword by April Bernard. This is, as you can probably tell, all of the poems that Edgar Allan Poe has written in his life. I've never read anything by him before and I'm not really a poetry person, so... Like, I don't really know what to think of this. I heard, like I've only read a couple of poems so far, just the shorter ones. I've heard that his writing can be quite dark sometimes. I don't know what to think of it yet. I've only read a few, but I'm not going to just be reading this poetry book. I also just want to read something else. But since I haven't picked out a new book yet, let's pick one together. I am always so excited to be picking out new books at the beginning of a new week. So let's take a look at my bookshelf. Okay, so what shall we go for? I actually feel like just reading a shorter book and even though I still have so many books on here that I have like that I've been here for years I actually feel like reading the very latest book that I hold namely Ship of Shadows this is a middle grade book written by Maria Kuzniar and it's basically about pirates and the cover is so freaking cool look how shiny if you want to know what it's about please pause here to read it yeah I'm gonna go for this one ah, I'm excited so I just feel like reading um, a quick read. This is probably quite a short one. It's only 250 pages and the font is pretty big because of course it's a middle grade. And look how cool the cover is. It has like a hole and then you see the ship. The only thing is, is that it's a little bit broken when it came in the mail, as you can see. So that's a shame, but oh well, the story is still the same and it's about pirates. And I see a lot of women on the cover, female pirates, yeah. But before we continue with the rest of this vlog, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Burger. And I'm so excited to be working with them because they are like a phone case and laptop case company based in Europe. They ship worldwide. So that is definitely a big plus. And I've used their phone cases for the longest time now. But a few weeks ago, I ordered myself a new iPhone, an iPhone 12, and these things are expensive as heck so i wanted to get a good case and burger always has these amazing cases that are very sturdy and you can basically drop your phone and it won't break i'm not gonna try it but i trust them so they were kind enough to send me a few of their cases as well as a laptop case which is so cool i don't think i've ever had like a proper laptop case before and one of these ring holders so i have three of the cases here the other one is on my phone i will show you those in a bit these are the tough cases so these have um this rubber on the inside as well that you can take out so you first put the rubber case on and then the like hard case so it's like extra protected and they also have the thinner ones but i wanted the ones that are like the tough ones so it won't break if i accidentally drop my phone so first of all i have this really cool one with these it actually reminded me a bit of bridgerton hence why i picked it out the next one i have this really cute one with cherries here it is so you can put your finger through it so it won't fall down on um, this really cool one that is like rose gold and then also this really cute one i love the color on this this is like orange with some dots and the cool thing is that this one matches my laptop case so if i have this one on my phone the laptop case is you know matchy matchy and then the last one is this one that i already have on my phone it has like a cool marble effect and it's like purple and it's so pretty so if you're looking for some high quality phone cases don't forget to check out the website and you can also get 15 percent off one or two items if you use the code basically brit 15 and again thank you so much Bert for collaborating with me on this video. Good morning everyone i hope you can't hear outside they're working um but like a take a look at my outfit 
yeah, I started the ship of shadows yesterday and this morning I read a bit more and then I thought ooh let's listen to some Pirates of the Caribbean music because of course it's about pirates and then I thought ooh maybe I should find a bookmark that matches the book so I found this one in my collection this is like a fairy loot one and it's actually about female pirates awesome this is from the 2018 pirates box and then I thought ooh might as well just dress like a pirate today <laughs> so I had this cool um top on you know like this and <laughs> I remember I had this. Oh, that's a pretty cool necklace. And just a little banda bandana, bandana. So yeah, I've been reading this one, really enjoying it so far. I'm not very far into it at all, but I'm just digging the vibe. But no reading for me now because I'm going to pack all this because a few days ago I added a new item to my shop. I'm so excited about this one. It is a new notebook and my old notebook with the stars, like the moon faces was sold out and I decided to um, create a new one this time. So I came up with this one. It is black. It is a really great hardcover quality and the coolest thing is this is a gold foil illustration. I'm so excited. It is just lined as you can see and in the back there is one of these pockets so you can put like stickers or notes in there and of course an elastic as well so if you want to get yourself one of these notebooks as well i will leave a link down below in the description to my shop so now i'm just going to be packing some of these orders but I was just like touching this necklace and I suddenly remembered a super embarrassing story about this necklace oh so okay if you don't know this is one of those necklaces from the Pirates of the Caribbean film the first one with like the Aztec gold and in the film Elizabeth has this necklace and after years and years she suddenly found this necklace again and it was like locked in a drawer so it was completely covered in dust and she grabbed the necklace and she did like this with her with her thumb like wiping away the dust and then suddenly it was like really shiny again and keep in mind I think I was like nine when I watched this film for the first time and what I did is I thought whoa that scene is so cool Elizabeth is so cool she's like ooh like wiping the dust away from this necklace and what I did is I found <laughs> we had like just shelving in our house and you know some of them especially near the ceiling get a bit dusty so what I did is I grabbed some of the dust from the shelves and I put it on the necklace and I recreated the scene all by myself but come on, let me know in the comments if you ever recreated a film scene all by yourself. Please say yes. I finished packing the orders for today, so I'm going to take these to the post office and then going for a little walk at the same time. And I will be bringing the Ship of Shadows with me because the weather is amazing. So I think I'm just going to sit somewhere outside and read for a little bit. Yay! <laughs> Happy Wednesday everyone! The weather is absolutely amazing outside. Unfortunately I have a few plans um, that I have to do online during the day so I won't be able to go outside until later in, the, uh, later in the afternoon. I'm going to the park with a friend and we're just going to have some food there. I'm so excited because it's going to be hot. But I wanted to give you a little update on the Ship of Shadows. I am about 100 pages in and I'm enjoying it so much. So it is like our main character Aleha, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. She is currently on the Ship of Shadows. It's magical, there's like magic, there are ghosts, there are shadows. A female crew of pirates. Yes, I'm loving it so much. And it's just a really quick read, so I'll definitely read some more today. That's it, actually. <laughs> I'm digging this bandana look very much. So now I want to get myself more ban banda bandana. Bandana in Dutch. <laughs> bon bandana. So I might have to get myself some more, or just like little scarves. 
because it feels a lot more secure than having my hair just loose without this thing in. I don't know why, because my ears always stick through my hair. I don't like the look of that, but now they cover my ears. But that's the little update for now. I will probably film a little bit in the park as well. Good morning, it is Friday, a little update on my reading. I read some more yesterday, I'm currently, let's see, on page 109. I'm enjoying it so very much, but my reading mood is definitely not as best as last week when I did this reading 100 pages a day for a week challenge. I read so much, so if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out up there. But today is not the most, or like this week is not the most successful week because I haven't, um, read that much. I've read like a hundred pages in five, like four and a half days. But I'm going to be taking this one over to my parents' house because I'm going there now. It's like 11.30 and I'm just going to spend the weekend there and it's Easter as well on Sunday. So we're just going to have some lovely food and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you there. very bad face it is sunday happy easter i'm going to have a lovely easter breakfast with my parents and then tonight as well we're going to have um some lovely food i will show you i haven't finished this one yet i'm only halfway through but when i'm with my parents i just can't really focus because you know if i'm downstairs everyone's talking tv might be on whatever so i can't really focus but i read some more this morning so now i'm halfway through and i'm loving it i'm just loving the pirate vibe and the awesome um women in this book and we painted some eggs yesterday i have to paint some more we like that the, the paint failed miserably so we just did like um black and white which actually looks quite cute so i just have to paint a few more today i'm just using these like fine liner pens from stadler um but yeah and little zebra and just you know it's quite cute so i'm just going to finish those now I'm currently in my old room, which is not my old room anymore. It is now an office. I'm sitting at a very large desk. So it's now a big office, but it still feels fun to be here. Oh, there's a little spider on the wall. It's really tiny. I thought I would just end this weekly vlog here because in a bit my grandma is coming over as well. We're going to have dinner here. She's fully vaccinated. I'm so happy. So we're going to have a lovely dinner and I don't think I will film anything there. Maybe a little short here and there. I don't know. But I unfortunately didn't finish this one. I really tried. But next week I'm going to be doing a really cool reading challenge. Um, I'm fully prepared to fail, but we'll see. I'm already scared. <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload that reading challenge and this one I read until let me see page 174 so not too much for one week but oh well I am as I said enjoying it so very much so yeah I really hope you like this vlog I'm sorry it's a little bit short I think but we'll see after I edited everything thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will hopefully see you in my next video bye Oh, by the way, if you don't know what to comment, but you want to comment something to show me you're there and that you've watched the video, um, comment a little, um, what's it called? A little chick coming from the egg? This emoji. <laughs> because of Easter and eggs and egg day and cute little baby chickens. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in the next one.